Don't call me. He doesn't know how to work it. Do you know how to work it? It was an almost perfect morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So it is bright and early. The kids are up watching a little early Moana this morning, and it is snowing outside. I told you, called it snowing. Beautiful snow. See if there's any cardinals up in those trees. I love when we have like these big, pretty red cardinal birds. Good news, we have some friends over. You have met them before. It is the Boltons, Amanda and Austin from St. Louis. I'll put an eye card up from the time that we saw them last. Do you want some more? You want more? Okay, I'll get you some more, okay? So last night we had to rearrange the sleeping arrangements because they've got three little kids as well. So there are six kids under the age of five here in this house right now. So it's a lot of fun, but we've got to get breakfast rolling because we are just going to have some fun today. All right, looking for a lock for our locker at the gym, and I found this in a box downstairs. I haven't seen this for like four years. <laughs> Do you know what this is from? <laughs> April Fool's. April Fool's Day of like... 2010, like seriously, seven years ago. This so, probably, eleven. probably, seriously. Oh, is that from? So yeah, see, Amanda knows what it is. Look, I found, I seriously found that downstairs oh as I was looking amazing. for a lock. So we'll insert a picture of what these guys did to our house on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Yeah, well, backstory, we ended up having, what did we do? Oh, we, we went around with a window marker and we people, put we put their cars for sale. And people called me. For real. For real. Yeah. Wanting to buy our cars. We, we put their phone numbers on their own cars. It was like anyway. a piece of crap car for like $10,000. <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. You look sure cute. Can you catch a snowflake on your tongue? Try to catch one on your tongue. Look the other way because that's the way the snow's fallen. Turn around. This way, there you go. Yep, can you catch one? Get one on your tongue. I got one. Sure fun to have it snow. <laughs> We've enjoyed such wonderful warm <laughs> weather. Now it's snowing. When friends come into town, you don't typically take them to the gym of all places. But we had a tactic and it worked. We were able to all get ready at the gym while the kids were entertained and playing with Child care, so it really worked out well. And those are just the type of friends that we can do this with, is you can't just do it with anyone. It just worked out, like they wanted to True. just as much as we wanted to, so True. it worked out. But these little girls want to get their nails painted. All right, the girls could not pick what color they wanted, so they decided to pick like five different colors, and Emma decided she wanted to do it all on her own. Oh my goodness, honey, do you want me to help you? All right, everyone, shoes and socks. We gotta go pick out some candy. Okay, without even asking, Emma grabbed the coat and she's helping Porter get his coat on. Emma, how did you know to be a good big sister? Yeah, I think you're hurting his hand, but, but you're trying so hard. Thank you, I didn't even ask you. We're trying to get out the door to go somewhere and Emma just like knew what needed to be done and got to work. Did you take your hair out so you could be like Moana? Well, it looks like Moana. Look at that. That's so pretty. You know what we were just talking about? So my friend's little girl has her hair cut, and I'm like a little bit kind of wanting to cut Emma's hair. Just a little bit. I don't know, Emma. What would you think? Would you want yes. your hair cut? It's so pretty long, but it's very like thin and straggly. And I think Emma's hair would look better and cleaner looking all summer long if it was cut a little bit shorter. <laughs> we'll think about it, okay? And I just had to blow all over my face. Yeah, because that's what you do. It's everywhere. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> mom makes your mom life easier. I know. Well, I think I think it would be easier. But then I look at your cousin Olivia's hair, and I think it's so beautiful, long. Yeah. But look how cute her hair is. It's just like nice and clean and crisp. Hers is really cute. Can you blow mommy a kiss? Use your hand. Do this. Blow mama kisses. Oh, that's a big kiss. That's such a big kiss. Blow it to mommy. Oh. He did it your first time. 
Thank you. to be like a wrecked ship under the ocean. Did you know mom and dad have actually gone scuba diving in a wrecked ship under the ocean? Well, I know that. We did that and we went down there and we seen all sorts of cool fish. Do you want to pretend like you're scuba diving in the ocean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, at least you didn't you eat it. To. Thank you. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It's a frog. You can eat it. Can you bite the frog's head? Bite it. Ow! We are just enjoying some candy because we can't come to the Crown Central without going to the chocolate or the candy factory. Of course not. Nope. It's the police? Do people still use phone booths? I don't know that. Wherever you live, do people use phone booths or does everyone have cell phones? I don't think anybody has them anymore because everybody's got a cell phone. Does this one work? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, let's go. Does it work, Cooper? Can you call me? Call Dad. Call me, maybe. Call me. He doesn't know how to work it. Do you know how to work it? You have to like That's put money. That's sad that my son doesn't know how to work this. You put money in here, and then you spin these little, that little die, I think it's broken. After dragging six kids under the age of five around Kansas City, and these kids are tired, in their jammies, and ready to go to bed. Cooper, are you ready to go to bed? Yeah. Jump. Woo! Okay, we've gotta get these kids up to their beds. Those two little girls are going to sleep in the same bed. We'll try that again. Last night it worked out pretty well, I'd say so. It's true. Okay, kids, come on. And your pajamas are amazing. Hey, thanks. She <laughs> likes them. Aww. If Amanda likes them, then they're good to go. Because <laughs> I have such good style. Hey, I think so. <laughs> All the kids are asleep, and that's such a good feeling to know that we accomplished something today. We kept kids alive and got them to sleep. Oh, All right, yeah. it is past midnight, and is daylight savings ends or starts? I don't know. So basically, it's one o'clock in the morning, and my friends will not leave. I'm trying to kick them out. <laughs> out of our house. I am trying to kick you out. So this is the only way to kick you guys out. You guys will go to the basement. Uh -huh. <laughs> kick you to the basement. <laughs> So I can get some sleep because I am so tired. We are all tired, so totally um, worth it. yeah. Insert Julie's tired picture. <laughs> <laughs> I will insert it because someone snapped a picture of me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, <laughs> it was such a fun day hanging out with some friends, and we made these friends introduced to these oh, friends, oh. and we're friends. Yes. And so it was a lot of fun, um, but we're exhausted. So we're going to nice. end the night here, and I hope you all have a good start to your week.